I understand people really enjoy watching us watch videos. <laughs> it's the internet, man. Yeah. It's a crazy place. It, it really is. All right. Turn the volume up. Neither of us have watched this before. Um, First time seeing it. And I'm selling a car to Carvana right now. Video mm -hmm. will be out next week. So let's yeah, see. Yeah, let the, let the folks know. They're, when are they picking up your car? Tuesday, September 1st at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. My car is getting picked up. So be on the lookout for uh, what the experience was like selling to Carvana. In the meantime, yes. let's learn from the legend of automotive YouTube himself, Scotty Kilmer, why we should never buy a car from Carvana. Okay. Looking forward to it. Rev up your engine. Eleven says, Scotty, what do you think about getting a car from one of those car ramps? <laughs> I had my butt up on those. One of my customers was going to buy a car from uh, one of those things. It's the one that you can get. A, you can get a coin. You put the coin in the machine, and then your car comes from the sky rise. It's a bunch of nonsense. I called them up for them and said, my customer wants me to check the used car out there buying from them. They said, we don't allow that. You can't check out the car. I said, is that true? Can you not do pre-purchase inspections at Carvana? I have no idea. I've, I've never bought a car from Carvana. I, I, you know. We'll do like some post-production yes. double check because if that's the case. But if Scotty says it's so, then I've got to believe. I believe him, yeah. That it's so, that, yeah. that, they, that they might not allow it. Um, Which is it, concerning. Well, it is and it isn't. All right, let's hear it. And, and the reason I say it isn't is, don't they give you like a three-day return? Seven-day. Seven-day return policy. So during that seven days, you can certainly... Oh, you can take it to your mechanic. Well, you it's assuming it. you're driving places, yeah, you can, you can make one of those places be your mechanic. And you can have your mechanic look at it then. Now, the only problem with that... Yeah. Okay, is that... They do they give you do they offer you a hundred percent refund or do they give you a store credit and you have to buy another car from them? Okay, yeah. So we got that some, part. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking they give you a refund. I'm, I'll put it up on the. I'll do the research yeah. and it'll like show up right. Yeah. I don't know somewhere down yeah. here. I'll but uh, apparently, and I wasn't aware of this, Carvana. Well, that's how the mafia <laughs> works. Just 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 so you know, folks. Scotty's been on YouTube, I think, since like '07. Yeah, he's a legend, man. I mean, well, we've yeah. got we've got room to grow. So I, his I've video been, style. I've been, we've been on on YouTube for like seven minutes. And <laughs> Do you see his pillow back here? The cat pillow. That thing's incredible. Yes, I I've noticed that. All right, we're 28 seconds in. Let's keep yeah. going. Okay. So what kind of nonsense is this? You gotta have a used car checkout if you're gonna buy it. And don't you know? Give me this BS about oh, well, there's a warranty for this or that. Yeah, warranties. You wanna deal with warranties? I have customers deal with some of those, and they'll say, oh, they have a money back warranty. And then you find out the money back warranty <laughs> is that you can give them that car back, but you gotta take another car in their lot. They don't give you. A We'll fact check afterwards, but yes. if he's saying that it's like store credit, then yeah, that's concerning. Well, you know, I did work at a uh, at a standalone Pontiac dealership in Mesa, Arizona. One in time. nineteen, the early nineties. Yeah, so, you know, you just, you really get it's such good. a it gives it gives. You, yeah, I know, and you really get a pleasure out of well, dating me is that you know my dad's really really old. I don't know if you're aware <laughs> of that, but anyway, we we did a a thirty day return policy. And that people could return the car if they weren't happy with it. Police are coming. They are because, well, you know, so many people took advantage of it. Yeah. <laughs> so the concept was that if you were unhappy with the car, well, you could give it back. Okay. But you had to get another car from us. And you could only do that one time. So it wasn't like a subscription service where, I don't know, once a month they were given the car back and taking another car. Yeah. But... You could bring the car back, and and you would have a credit to be able to be used at the dealership for another car. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, I, I understand. And the, the reason they do it that way is they've done actuarial uh, studies, yeah, yeah, of course. and it's like the percentage of people that actually bring back. And, and I can and I can only remember one yeah. that came back, and 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 they came back and they decided they wanted to go into a a, a, a more expensive Firebird. So we were okay with that. No, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's okay, keep back going. to Scotty. And remember, you can always hit the space bar. I can, but you know, I you're good at it. I'm just letting you know. Thank you. Cash back. There's all kinds of now legalese on that crap. If you can't have your trusted mechanic check out a used car, do not buy it from whoever's selling. I don't care if it's a person or <laughs> dealership. Do not buy it then, because it's too chancy. Oh, and right. did he just have Amazon on the dealer? <laughs> Where is he? All right, all right, all right. I just want to, uh, what do you think we're about to hear about a, a horse and a jockey? 
Somebody's taking us for a ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't know. We'll find out. Racing says, Scotty, what do you think about electric cars? Well, it's very interesting technology. And of course, there's tons less moving parts. They're interesting technology. I'll give them that. The problem is, the range is limited. There's a limited amount of, most of them are lithium ion, of lithium on the planet. I don't know if there's enough to make enough batteries for enough people. And the infrastructure for electricity, especially in the United States, is already overstressed. Here in Houston in the summer, sometimes we get brownouts because everybody's using their air conditioning to cool their houses down. And if you added three and a half million people plugging their cars in at night and charging them up, it would be a royal mess. So I don't see them as being mainstream for a really, really long time. We obviously do not watch a lot of Scotty Kilmer videos, so like, I thought this was a video about never buying from Carvana, but We might was... get back to that. Just, just wait. The segue between segments was a horse and a jockey. <laughs> well, yeah. Here we, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Four one says, Scotty, what do you think of the Jeep Liberty 2008? I'm not a fan. That's when they started making them cheaper and cheaper. When they started making the Liberties, they started to try to make them for a bigger mass. I, I, I just, I think that the never buy a car from Carvana was the first segment. <laughs> And the only segment that was going to mention Carvana. Now, I find Scotty, um, uh, well, entertaining. And his choice of uh, photos that he adds in, in the upper right-hand corner of his videos yeah. are, are hilarious. But nothing against Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I think we're done with that portion of it. What do you think? I really appreciated how he had, like, a photo. Yeah, I might not even be able to find it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. Let, let's let's wrap with our two cents on buying from Carvana. You're gonna pay a bit more. Yes. On the on the front end, so the yes. actual price. And we've talked about this before. Actually, we'll link to it right up here somewhere. Thank you, pops. And and if you finance it, you're definitely oh, you're definitely paying more. You're so we actually more yeah. than a bit more. Yeah, yeah. So actually, let's let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. So I did um, a podcast episode, Auto Insider podcast, with my dad and a man named Nicholas Henriksen, who is the senior director for Celta Carvana. Inventory, because that means you get the car, you recondition it, and you can sell to anyone everywhere across the country. Mm -hmm. um, and then he left and he started up his own company. And um, Nicholas talks about, I mean, the whole business model, and we all know this, is, but he reaffirmed it, they mm -hmm. make money on the back end. So if you find a car at Carvana that you like, buying experience will probably be super pleasant. Mm -hmm. So I have my car to them right now. Pretty pretty damn seamless and easy. Yeah, so you, sure even got, you even got your uh, text message Yeah, I got Nicholas. my text message from <laughs> Nicholas. Yeah, he doesn't work there anymore, but he's, he's still... But he's still the... sending out text messages because that's how much Nicholas cares. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. or like somewhere in an internal system, it's really yes. hard to switch. Yes. But the, the long story short is you're going to pay a premium. You might have a more pleasant experience, mm -hmm. and you're definitely going to, uh, you know, you're going to be a profit-making machine for them yes. on the back end if you yes. do your loan through them or anything yes. like that. Never buy through them because you can't, you know, test drive it or you can't, um, you know, get a pre-purchase inspection mm -hmm. to each their own. Yes, and I, I, I noticed something on your left wrist today. Yeah, yeah. You know, you normally don't wear a wristwatch. I literally may have only put it on for this video. Don't you're tell kidding? Me. Okay. So this is this is yes. my dad's. Well, now it's mine. Yeah, now it's Zach's. Let's see if I can get in the camera. So, yeah, tell the story about this while I... Uh, this, this is a, an Omega Constellation um, that I won in the early 80s in a, in a sales contest when I was managing a Nissan store. And um, I won some cash, and I won some prize points. Mm -hmm. And with the prize points, I got this Omega, mm -hmm. and I got a, a, a 35 millimeter. Uh, Canon. Yeah, camera, we still have. I was looking at we that still this have, weekend. Uh, that that I believe your sister has. Yep. Um, and um, and and I, I I got a nice check. And what I did with the money portion of it was I figured well there was no way that I could have won this contest without the team that I had surrounding me at the dealership. And this was at Admiral Nissan in Pleasantville, New Jersey which is outside of Atlantic City. So I made arrangements to uh, take the sales team and their spouses or significant others to uh, a Johnny Mathis uh, concert at the Tropicana. Wow. Plus, uh, plus I, I treated everybody to the buffet at the Tropicana prior to the show. Um, what year was this? This was in the, uh, it was before I met your mother. Yeah. So it was in the, uh, 
81, 82. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, and I and I treated the team to a dinner and and a show to see Johnny Mathis, who was a big time singer in at that time. And uh, you've been an auto advocate for decades. I know there. Forty. <laughs> I, I know there are Four are decades. some who have mentioned in their comments that you know I have to be a scammer or I'm, or I'm a bad person you know because I've always taken advantage of people no I, I haven't always taken advantage of people I've always I've always thought about the people that made whatever success I had uh, to be possible and and I didn't think whatever rewards I might receive should be my rewards they should be our rewards no, so I, I love it yeah I, I shared the it with them yeah, yeah. so no and you so you've You've, um, I was about to say bequeathed, but you're still alive. Yeah. You've given me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This Omega, and I, I wear it frequently. It's, it, you know, it's kind of flashy, but it's really nice, and it's gold-plated, not yes. gold-filled. So it's actually not, you know, it's mm. really, maybe, it may be worth $1,000 if that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's really a beautiful watch, and I love wearing it. And it's not, it's not huge, you know, it's no. like actually really yeah. petite, it's, which it's, is nice. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's one of the smaller faces. It's not the way they build watches today, which is, if the if the face doesn't take up your whole arm, it's just not a watch. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. All right. So should you buy a car from Carvana? I have no clue. Did we even address that? Not quite sure. Scotty yeah. Kilmer videos, amusing, but man, that that was all over the place. Yes. But more power to him. He's he's the godfather of automotive YouTube, and we are just on our quest to get somewhere near him. So yes. We're yes. We might have to travel to Houston. Yeah, yeah, evidently. <laughs> thank you, Scotty. Yes, thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Pops. Thank you, Zach.